Forest and Mount St. Mary's men's lacrosse. The Mountaineers steamrolling in off a four game win streak while a five goal, one assist performance. All of his 16 goals on the year have come in the last four games. Meanwhile, it's up today as the Red Foxes look to reestablish their names as Fermo for the opening draw today. An early start called against Mount St. Mary's and Marist, or check that. Yes, Mount St. Mary's called for the early infraction and Marist has the opening possession. Kicks it aside, that does reset the shot clock for the Red Foxes. Balker Zell to Jamison Embry, trying to dish the crease. He hit the side net, recovers his own shot. One hand, tuck it goes. Strength and finesse from the captain, Jamison Embry. DC saw the moment right away. May have even gotten a little bit away with a step in the with a pair against the Bobcats. DJ Gravanti. Freshman attacker, son of head coach Tom. Round to the wing, and we are tied right back up. All the season, and we are square at one apiece. Green. Set by Wilson Ford for Gravanti for getting it right back. Falling away on the run. That stick as of late. Now William Vandergrift. Transferred from St. Joseph's. Tries to get some space. Speeds down the alley. Draws the slide. Turns towards the middle and skips it home. Mount St. Mary's retakes the lead. And Vandergrift gets. Not much work needed to chance to overtake with time as both of those ties are the next two games, Siena and LIU. Under 14 to shoot. Gravanti trying to get away from McCaffrey. Locates McMahon and Mount Sword. 23rd of the year for Jim. Some clutch awareness too. Dodd Still Fermo against Beals in that face-off circle. And it comes down with Steven Schmidt. A little over two minutes to go. Schmidt's on the move. Schmidt sticks it. Ball makes it two in 15 seconds. Make it. Maris calls a timeout. Trying to get things back in order. Is the offense cooking? Both of these sides have definitely had their struggles. Kevin Woody, the freshman, draws the slide. Around to Drake, Jake Krieger. Gives it right back, and the sidewinder whistles home. Of the air for Connor Barrett. The Canadian makes it 5-1. A little bit of a screen and roll. And Jake Krieger in the process picking up the, I thought that was a shot, and I thought that was a shot. So they still have no reset, even though the clock probably should have gone back to 60. Down the alley, and a score! Joins the party. Make it 6-1 Mount St. Mary's. Right down Main Street. Becomes the sixth difference goal standage. Griffin McGinley has had a great day in that. Has stopped six of the seven. Noble Smith, meanwhile, stopped five of the 11. Cormac Giblin gives it off. Gowan skips it in. That student fires the missile, and it is 7-1 Mountaineers. Five goals and an assist last Saturday. He did not pick up any point. Almost a half of play. They turn it right back over. Wilson locates McMahon. And they opt to pass it around. Bingo! There's Gravanti. And make it 8 1. Another unforced error that Mount St. Mary's has, but only by one. Five unforced. Balker Ziel. Getting rankled by the long pull. Steven Schmidt gives it off. Hunter Embry to the middle. 
finds DC, and he sticks the corner. After more than 30 minutes, the drought is breaking. The split dodge drew the slide attention away, and before it could come back the other direction. That one, that's his third apple in the bucket on the season. This record have boatloads of talent, a face-off unit that's hard to top anywhere else in the conference, except the team that is doing that is Mount St. Mary's. They hold all the three top spots in face-off percentage. Those being with individuals, Connor Beals number one, and there is A for Jake Krieger. Ninth different goal scorer from Mount St. Mary's. And the lead had a goal and three assists. Last weekend against Quinnipiac, he gets the feed from Gowan and goes low to beat. Volkerzell. Drives in and passes back. Pareka, who has been held silent today, does that sneak across? Almost stopped. One of only two shots he's put on frame in five attempts. Emery tries the inside roll. He's cut off by Phillips. Gives it back. Pareka gets his second. Back to back for the grad student from Long Island. Have a long hole to dig out of. But they're starting the trek. Again, I can almost assure you. But hey, you never know. Mount St. Mary's had a 9-3 loss to Manhattan to start off their conference slate. So really anything could happen. The Red Fox is down by five. Same margin as the start of the half. Now they get another back. Hunter Ember, the four-goal game. The assist goes to Matt de Blasio. Hunter Embry half unit seems to be a thing of the past. Pareka. Another one whistling off target. Single digits left, and it is back to even strength. Patrico! Just as it got back even, Maris brings this game back within three. Upright corner. He had the lane, he took advantage. So Vinny Patrico now seven goals on the year, all of the man up. Third quarter trying to regain some steam. Cormac Giblin has an assist, but no goals yet today. Gowan has an opening, and Gowan gets his second. For the grad student. A late attempt to close out in the last five games played. Full we'll column yet today, though he does have an assist. Defended by the short stick, Keenan DeReeve. From the invert, curls out. On the wing for Krieger. Picks the top bar. For cross of the frame for Krieger. He's got his second. And just got around Stofko. And even though Noble Smith to the double figure column for goals on the season with his 10th. Right off the face off, Maris trying to respond and Pareka splits the five hole. Hat trick for number 42. Quick win for Bedell and he goes on the move. Finds his man and Pareka here in the conference, sitting at third in the conference in goals per game. Face-off battle has gotten much closer of late. Connor Beal still doing really well. Has won every face-off that Mount St. Mary's has won. He's 12 of 18. The other board been split up. And now, Patrick Kelly Gowan. He is locked in. Appreciate it. With five to shoot, a feed inside hits the deck and it's scooped up by Smith. They hit the end of that one and six stretch mightily bad. Hello, Ryan McDaniel. The long pole gets involved and cuts the deficit to four. 
dusts his defender and rips it. But a big tally to Ray and James Lyons up top to Hunter Embry. To the wing for Pareka, zips it across. Lyons steps in and sticks it. Finally, Lyons on the board. And the deficit is down. Crispest passing of the day for Marist. On the Marist offense. But it's got to keep up with clean victory himself. On the run he goes, and on the run he skips it wide. But Dell, he could connect. Let's see, he takes this hit right on the back end. Ooh. Ambery can't reel it in. The Mountaineers hit the road and reinvigorate this rivalry with a victory. 12 to nine, the Mount hangs on. They move to seven overall, three and three in conference play. The Mount 500 overall and five and one in conference play.